Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am filming a very exciting video, probably something that will interest a lot of you. These are the new six Bow Beauty lip liners. These are $2 a pop. Currently wearing one on my lips. I am just going to be doing a review slash swatches of these new $2 lip liners. So stay tuned if you want to see this little video on these new lip liners. Okay, so the one thing I'm going to say about this range is it does cover all bases of lip liners. You have your nudes, pinks, mauves, a deeper colour and a red and an orange. So that is a great thing about this range. It will cater to everyone's preferred taste. So that is one thing I like. Like I said, only $2 per pop. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying how it feels and how they look. So let's just get on to the swatches now. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to show you is this nudie colour. This one is in the shade Coral Affair. I don't know why it's called Coral Affair, because it is a very nude shade. As you can see, this is what the packaging looks like. And it has the sticker, the name on the sticker, which I put on the lid because if you rip off the plastic, then you don't know what the name of it is. So I will pop this one on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the shade Coral Affair. I really do like this shade. Just a standard nude colour. I feel like every collection of lip liners has to have a standard nude. This is this one. And I really do enjoy this colour. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to show you what Coral Affair swatches like. This is what it swatches like. So as you can see, it is just a nice nudie colour. That is what it looks like. And these are just sharpenable, sharpenable pencils. So it's just really easy really good way of doing it. The next shade I'm going to share with you is Fab Fuchsia, which looks like this. It is just a pinky colour. I'm actually going to apply this one and let you see how it applies because they just glide on so smoothly. So just keep watching. So this right here is the colour Fab Fuchsia. I really do like this colour. As you saw, they glide on so smooth, so nicely. Definitely really enjoy this colour. If you're into pinks, you need this one in your collection. One swatches like. Moving on to the next shade, I'm going to stick with another pink colour. This one is in the shade Pink Paradise. This is what it looks like. This is what this one looks like. Uh, it's definitely more of a dulled down pink compared to the last one I showed you. This one's probably more wearable if you are kind of faint hearted and don't really want to wear such a bright one. So this is how this one swatches. So far, I am loving these though. So yeah, that is the three shades and three more to go. The next shade I'm sharing with you is this orange shade. It is called In The Buff. As you can see, it is a nice bright orange. So this one is In The Buff. This one was probably the hardest to apply so far, if I'm being honest. However, with a lip liner, it's basically just a base for a lipstick. However, you can wear them on their own, but this one you would definitely need something over the top. I don't think it's coming off as bad on camera as what it is in real life, but it is still a gorgeous shade and a bright orange or coral would go amazingly over this. So if you're into those type of colours, then this lip liner is definitely worth picking up. So this is what this one swatches like. As you can see, it's a pretty bright shade. So the second last shade I'm going to show you is the red one. This is called Ruby Slipper. Probably looks a bit more orange on camera, but hopefully it'll show up more red on my lips. So this is what the red one looks like. As you can see, it is a really pretty red colour. This one is the creamiest one by far. That's why it's a bit sloppy, because it literally just glided. So sometimes that can be a good thing, sometimes it can be a bad thing. I really love how creamy it is. It just glided on, but it also slipped in some areas, so I had to touch up a bit. 
but I absolutely love this colour. It's gorgeous. So this is what it swatches like. I barely have to touch. I will post a picture at the end of these swatches of these on my hand because I don't know if this is coming up true to colour on camera. It doesn't look like it is in my viewfinder, but we will soon find out. However, this is a gorgeous colour. If you are a red person, you need this in your life. And the lucky last shade we are doing is Berry Brave, which is this a berry colour. It is a pretty dark one. It is the darkest one of the range. So let's just chug it on and see how it goes. So this is the shade Berry Brave. I absolutely love this colour. It is like your deep purple. Yeah, it's more of a deep purpley morph colour. It throws off a little bit of red, but it's more purple than red. I absolutely love this colour. I think it's amazing. So, yeah, and it just glided on like the rest of them amazingly. So, I will just swatch it on my hand. And, ooh, messy swatch. But that is what they all look like. So, all in all, my opinion on these lip liners is that they are amazing. They definitely can compete with the Essence ones. And they do have a few different shades. So, if you love the Essence lip liners, then I suggest getting your hands on these Bow Beauty ones. They are available at Big W if I didn't already mention that. I don't think I did, which I'm an idiot, but most people who live in Australia will know you can get Bow Beauty from Big W anyways. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will talk to you guys in my next one. I love you all so much and I will see you later. Bye. Um, it is Amy's eBay buys. I finally have enough stuff to share with you guys. This is going to be a pretty long one because I have a fair bit of stuff. More stuff on the way, so I want to do these videos.